So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we return for some more PES 2020 action. We're on the PC today, so we're back to my favourite territory. And uh, yeah, we're going to do some manual gameplay. That's right, we're going into the manual world of things, so that should be interesting. Uh, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about the menu, which... To be fair, it's grown on me a little bit, I have to say, comparing it to last year's, where obviously we went for the square or the rectangular boxes that we've had. There's something about this menu that's very simple, and it, and it just works. The, the, the backgrounds do change, so you'll see McTominay's under eFootball, uh, and then he's under settings, and it, it just sort of randomizes the players. Whether they'll change in the full game and there'll be more, I don't know. I presume there might be, um, especially for obviously the other three icons below it. But, you know, you can scroll down, you can you can get a feel for what news there is. I don't know, it's, it's grown on me. I do like this menu, and I think the reason for it is it's very quick. You just navigate through it fast. I like the changing of the background. It's something different as opposed to just being stagnant and quite boring. So, yeah, I think, you know, it is just a menu, but it's certainly grown on me a little bit. One thing I would like, though, them to update is sort of this feel. You know, this type of deal when it comes to the picking of the teams you know just modernize it up a little bit and especially the formation screen so you know you've done the menu konami now let's try and focus possibly on you know the, the selection screens and the formation screens for the future now the question is who do we go for today i hear that flamingo is, is a bit of a pain in the ass to play against i don't know if i should go for lower opposition or sort of play as barcelona and because i am on manual here this might be a, a real tall order for me it's going to be, uh, you know, a, t a tough kind of game. All right, let let's do Barcelona. And I'm going to play against Flamingo. <laughs> yeah, I know. But this is going to be on manual, so it's not going to be easy anyway. But I just want to see how exactly the AI do play. I mean, it really comes down to how the AI is set up tactically. If they have the wrong tactics, they're going to give you way more time on the ball. Deep defensive line is something that's up in the air. And for me personally, I feel like maybe, you know, they could replace it um, with something different. Because I'm, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of deep defensive line because I think it sort of counteracts each other. We already have defensive instructions. We already have defensive line, which is the higher the level, the further up the field you will be. So if you play all the way up here, and then you go to advanced instructions and you whack on deep defensive line. I mean, it kind of makes it pointless, you know? It's it's just fighting against each other. So I think maybe change that or get rid of it because, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan. Anyway, let's make this normal because I don't want to be getting caught. Um, I don't want to go too gun ho because I know you're going to get caught otherwise. Possession, center... We will play possession because I, I don't want to go mad here when I'm playing on manual because that's not going to work out. You've got to definitely think about what you're doing as opposed to not thinking about what you're doing. All right, superstar. Um, we're going to keep the conditions regular and normal. Actually, you know what? Let's crank these up a little bit. Let's make the player's stats a little bit boosted, might make it a little bit more entertaining. Let's play here. S uh, summertime. Uh, let's do winter fine. That looks good to me. Do they have another kit or is that one red? No, it's red, isn't it? So we'll go for the uh, the white one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into it. Manual gameplay. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we go. Now, we're on PC, as I said. Make sure, if you are playing on PC, you've downloaded it from Steam, go into the settings and change the uh, cutscenes and the replays frames per second to 60. Because default, it is 30. I don't know how good your computer is. I don't know if it can run it. Mine's pretty good. I've got an RTX 2070, by the way. 32 gigs of RAM, an i7. It runs no problem, although it said it was okay instead of good in the in the uh, specs. I don't know why. Can run it fine. Got loads of RAM, but um, make sure you go in there and change it because if you're not putting it on 60, it's going to look like the PS4 did yesterday. And it's amazing, isn't it, how things have changed from uh, used to playing 30 FPS, if not less, back in the day, and nowadays, if you even tried to play in that, you would be like, wow, this is really quite 
non-smooth uh, and laggy and, and just doesn't look great. Anyway, let me just show you guys what we are playing on. So, it is pass support off. Through ball is basic, so it's pretty much manual because we've only got advanced. And we are playing with advanced shot type. Whether you like it or not, I'm sticking with it because I've got to get better at it. It just it allows you more freedom, as it says in the top. It allows you more freedom to shoot than basic. On basic, you can shoot towards the right, the left, and the center. It's pretty much predetermined whether it's going to go in. And obviously, stats play a part. But I feel like advanced is something that when you master it, it's just way, way, way more fun. Another thing, I'd recommend checking out this camera angle. This is what I'm using. Zoom, zero, height, five, angle, nine. You know, if you zoom in too near, you're not going to be able to see the whole field. You're not going to be able to see the players making the runs. I like to have that camera angle out. I like to be able to see what is going on. You know, and I'm used to playing in this camera angle because I've played the PC version. If you haven't and you're not used to it and you're like, I don't like this, I'd, I'd certainly say test it for a little bit more. Learn. Learn to like it. Because if you can... Oh, God, here we go. I probably need to concentrate in this, but um, because if you can learn to like it, you certainly will enjoy it more when it comes to Master League. Online, different kettle of fish. I keep saying kettle of fish a lot, but I do have a fish. Wow, what, what are we doing there, boys? So... You know, online is, is just a different ball game. I'll tell you what, some lovely feet here and a nice effort as well. Good save by Testegan. Not going to be able to keep that in. But yeah, online's different. So you might want to mix it up depending on uh, what you feel comfortable with. Anyway, ball up the line. Are they going to keep it on? Yes, they are. Right now, I'm looking a little bit poor. Just going to smash it clear. And uh, managed to keep it on. But yeah, manual is certainly something you have to adapt to. The reason I'm playing Flamingo is because I did hear that they are, uh, you know, they play quite offensive. They don't give you a ton of time on the ball. Depending on where you are on the field, of course. So let's try and swing this around here to PK. I do have to really focus, though, because if I don't, I'm going to have problems. Is Busquets. Vidal. Start again, boys. We're going to have to try and work this. And I do want to play a little bit more attacking. Otherwise, we're not going to get players forward. Of course, Messi is the player we want to look for. Here he is now. The little magician. Cuts inside. Still going. Lovely feet by him. Chance to deliver it. And I forgot that it doesn't work very well when you cross the ball like that. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's going to take some time to adjust. It's going to be infuriating. It is. I know last year I, I started playing on manual. Ref, I'll take the free kick there. At initially in the demo. And then I just went back to pass support one. Because it is a lot tougher. And I felt like you guys may get bored with it. But if you can make the matches longer and more enjoyable. Then you can still get some good games going. All right, here we go. Lionel Messi. Feeds it off. Roberto. Certainly lay that up the line to Rakitic. How's the delivery? And it's not bad at all. Just need to learn how to get the ball down. That's my biggest problem. Got to keep the circle in the bottom of the goal. It's a, it's a habit. That's what it is. It's a habit. That habit needs to be eradicated as soon as possible. Now, I'm hopefully going to have a link in the description as well for you guys to leave your feedback, which Konami have requested. So, you know, any feedback you get going towards the game could very well be, you know, seen by Konami and addressed, which is exactly what we want, of course. We want to get as much feedback. Constructive feedback as well, though, by the way. Don't just come in here and slag off the game for the purpose of you prefer FIFA and it's better. Yeah, well, I prefer Pez, but I don't slag FIFA off constantly. I just don't play it. All right, here we go. Nice little turn here by Roberto. We're going to swing this round the other way. Sergio Busquets finding Jordi Albert. Lays it inside. Got a bit of movement here. Roberto. Messi wants it up the line. He finds him. This is where you get it on the old left foot. You go near post. Unlucky. Good save by the goalie. Forcing the save. But look at the movement, though, by Messi. I didn't ask him to do that. He just decided, I'm going to do it myself. Uh, I think this year will, you will tell the difference 
between the likes of Messi and his dribbling as opposed to someone else. I certainly feel that. I've had a joy playing with Ronaldo and Dybala. I mean, they've just been fantastic for me. Anyway, here's a chance now for Flamingo. And I know I'm playing Flamingo. They're not the best, but that's purely for this first game on Manuel. And I haven't played Manuel in a while, so he could be a bit rusty here. But at the moment, we're keeping possession. Rakitic. Busquets uh, tried to feed it through there to uh, Luis Suarez. Brené. Deflection there off Messi. And here we go. Cut back inside, but there's the ability of his keeping on his feet. Such low centre of gravity as we know. Well played Busquets right now. Flamingo having a hard time of getting the ball back. This is where Messi's dribbling is... Uh, Bit of fun to play with because he's so good at it. Feed it off. Suarez. Nice little turn there. Ref. Oh, he's given it. Well, this could be the first goal because we know free kicks some with someone like Messi. Always a threat. Question is, do we hit it? Do we not? He's a 92. I don't know if we should just smash it in the other corner. I think we'll just go for this. Top corner, cool as you like. Here we go. It is Messi! Oh, it's hit the post. Put it in! Oh, couldn't put it in. What's the referee given? Looks like he's given a foul. Or is he given a penalty? No, he's given a free kick. I don't think the goalie moved, to be honest. So half an hour played. Got a couple of chances. Flamingo, not too many. Good through the middle. And of course, when you're defending, you, you know, you want to try and jostle, uh, jossie? jostle, backtrack, stay with your man, because any kind of movement like that, and you could end up losing out. Oh, my word. Well, it's filthy, isn't it? Absolutely clinical. Ribeiro there, just, well, you can hear the crowd. The crowd was silent, because technically we are playing at home. I'm talking about defending. No, I was trying to get the ball off him and uh, I, I just couldn't. Quick feet here. And he just opened his body up and to Stegen. Beaten by the curl. So we have a goal. Fortunately, it's not for us. Uh, Roberto there, that's probably my own fault because I was trying to control Messi at the same time. Ball over the top's a good one. Uh, Do we come across with PK? No, we'll try and trap the runner there. Well played, uh, Sergi Roberto. I should probably try and use the other flank. Because we've got a lot of room out there and we're not really using it. Vidal. Suarez trying to feed it off. Vidal gets there first. Roberto. Rakitic. Feeds it inside to Busquets. Looking for Malcolm now. Sorry, not Malcolm. Dembele. Nice little curl of Ben there, lays it on the edge of the box. That was a, an unorthodox attempt from absolutely miles away. Good play Busquets, good covering there, son. You know, but really, you know, if you want a simulation, you know, this is how you have to play the game. And it's not easy, and you're going to mess up constantly, but that is football. Learn to adapt. And if you don't want to play like this, then you can't really say that the game is too fast or... This, that, and the other. Because Manu is just a completely different game. We'll play Sergi. Got to hit that one up the line. All right, we've got a chance here. Luis Suarez wants it. That's a fantastic challenge. Will Messi get there? No, the ball's been played through his legs. One minute of stoppage time to play. I think it will be hard to actually go back to playing Pez 19. After playing this, anyway, there is half time. And we've hit the post. Messi had a chance at the near post. Flamingo haven't had too many attempts. Two to five. I don't know if we should try out fluid formation. Give that a bit of a shot in this second half. So when we're in possession, we'll get the likes of uh, 
Rakitic forward. You know what? Let's bring on Arthur here. It's not the most stat player in the world, but box to box. Going to get Messi to come more of a centre forward. Or as a second striker. When we're out of possession, then Bele can drop off a little bit. Messi can just stay up top, to be fair. Any tactics? Tick attack a right now. Maybe we should switch that up. Centering targets. Score from crosses. Well, we'll keep Suarez through the middle. Let's play the Gigan press and see exactly what happens there. I don't know about the stamina. That's another thing that we haven't really touched upon. Is, you know, how is the stamina? I don't really know. Because it certainly used to make a bit of a difference. I think it is something that's, you know, it is needed because it does mean that you have to make changes accordingly and everything else. But if we play the Gigan Press, we'll see if the boys start to get tired. Good head of PK. Now, this is a chance here to bring it forward. Arthur picks it up. Some space out wide here for Jordi Albert. Lay that back inside. All over the top. Could be a good one. Not a bad idea. That should be the keepers. But no, it's out for uh, the corner. All right, let's just let's do a bit of uh, trainer. And absolutely ram this in. Oh, there's a header by PK. And we actually got the advance shooting well. And truly nailed that time. But this is a great save by the goalie. Down to his bottom left-hand side. He's delighted with it. I think we'll do that again. Seem to work out. Let's see this time. Oh, it's a beauty. Gerard Piquet rises above the clouds and nestles it into the top corner. He may have saved it once, but unable to save it twice. Look at this. What a delivery as well by Lionel. But this is a towering header. So good in the air. He is a threat. And that's why. The sheer power he got on this. Different class. So we seem to score a lot of goals from set pieces, don't we? But well, I'm actually happy I managed to bang that in, to be fair, with advanced shooting. Because normally, I don't get him anywhere near the target. You know, but this is what it's all about, though, isn't it? I mean, it's an enjoyable game of football. It's, it's possessing. It's... Passing, analyzing the situation. You will learn to adapt to different situations. Just, you know, it gives you more of a footballing brain as well. I certainly think it does. All right, Jordi Albert, take your time, son. Feed it inside. Back to PK. But you can see Flamingo now. They are sitting off deep. I'm literally trying to just figure out a way to get through. Trying to make some runs as well. Dembele, we use the pace that we have to uh, deliver that one in. Lovely ball as well. Now that's one thing I do like is the fact that because oh, because I was using Evo Switcher on the uh, the PC modded version of PES 2019, crosses were very difficult because of the angles. They weren't actually in the game; they were sort of created, so that caused a problem. Whereas, of course, this camera angle has been officially made for the game. It does make crossing a little bit easier. Let me know, are you guys any good up manual? Suarez wants this, and we have found him. Nice little turn. He's opened up some space. Oh, and nearly found a way through as well. See, we're playing the Gigan press now, so we're putting players forward. PK always going to win that header. Lovely little touch with a back flick. Tried to flick it on. And then uh, the loose pass out wide. They are going to keep it on. Oh, that's a filthy challenge there. We'll see if the ref brings that back for the yellow. I'm going to head that all the way back to the keeper. The goalies are very responsive. Oh, you idiot to Stegen. That's my own fault. But the goalies, yeah, they're very responsive in the fact that, you know, they pick the ball up. They get moving. They don't mess around too much. Uh, they've come a long way, haven't they, from what they used to be. The goalkeeping used to be a, a real problem. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got another problem here. Players are all over the place. Just want to get rid of it. 68 minutes played. 
we can if we can just press a little bit more, I think we'll steal the ball. It's all about just trying to hold the AI up. The referee is going to give the foul. He probably will now. Yes, he's going to bring it back. I oh, might make a change as well in a minute. There's nothing in this ref. So, two changes. It does, I have to say, it does feel very similar to the PS4 version. There's, there's not really an issue with it when it comes to sort of the responsiveness or uh, any of that. So I've got no complaints. All right, here we go. Lionel Messi He's going to get the ball. He's going to run with it. And he's going to find a lovely ball out wide here to Arthur, who's through on goal. Can he finish? No, there you go. That's my issue. That's my issue. Number one, Arthur's not left-footed. Uh, why, why, why am I going for the left foot? And that's the problem there. Should have cut back or at least gone across the goal. It was a terrible finish. All right, good header. I do think, though, honestly, you know, we talk about the AI and people are going to say, yeah, they're too easy. I think this is how the CPU should be played, though. They should be making mistakes. They shouldn't have a huge advantage. You go and play Superstar on PES 2019 after this and see how many times you basically get cheated out of uh, different situations. Because it happens constantly. And it seems like Konami have struck a balance here of actually trying to make the AI play very similar to a human opponent. Not to say that they can't make him play, you know, a little bit better. Of course they can, and I hope they do still tweak them. But it's far more enjoyable. All right, go on, Jordi Alba. That's a good challenge. Well, once again, the ref, you probably could have played on there. We'll take the quick one just for the sake of it. All right, we've got players in the box. <laughs> That's the problem when you hold L1. I'm trying to whip them in with L1 as well as uh, direct them with the analog stick. Well, this is no holes barred. Blunders all over the place. Unedited stuff for you guys to see just how bad you can play sometimes. Anyway, here's a chance. I'm going to bring out the goalie. Well played to Stegen. Now Malcolm. Play a little bit of Argy Bargy there. He's going to lay it out wide. Chance to play it inside. There's a give and go. Back inside again. But uh, not a great place to lose it. Now Messi, make that run. Doesn't want to, so we'll try and find him ourselves. Does get it down nicely. And that's a foul. We'll take it. Messi range. But I love the way he got that down there. I will say that the graphics are better. There's no doubt. The players look fantastic. The, uh, the faces as well are the part. Now, obviously, we want to bend this. So we're going to try and put some serious whip on it. I don't know how much bend you want to put on this. Probably about there. All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, he struck the post every single time. And we'll have a go. We kept it low. I do like the ability of being able to shoot low, though, with advanced shooting. You just have to tell the game where you want it to go. Wait a minute. We have a chance. Referee. This time I've hit the post again. Come on. That's so infuriating. That's twice. Well, granted, the first one was from a free kick, but I'm still trying to master it, guys. Still trying to master the advanced shooting. Give me a little bit of time here to do it. We're into the final few minutes. I'm just going to get this out because I'm under the cosh, but the referee's given the uh, offside, I believe. And uh, oh, there's a yellow for the... Uh, the foul, Rakitic. Well, he did make the foul beforehand on Messi, so I think that's only fair that he goes into the book. Here it was. Absolutely annihilated him, but, you know, a good good advantage played. All right, final two minutes to be played. Oh, the ball is flicked on. Oh, brilliant save by Testegan. Down to his right-hand side. Now, this is route one football, isn't it? Long ball, flicked on. Struck it beautifully. A good save in the end. Keeping it level at one apiece. I know there hasn't been a ton of goals. We've had some chances, but... It's kind of what you would expect. This isn't assisted passing. All right, will they score a final goal? Loops it over the bar. And that very well may be... Uh, 
One of the last real chances of the game. Difficult one there. So yeah, we are coming to the final few minutes. I mean, I just want to say, if you haven't ever tried manual, you know, give it a shot and test it out. Because when you're talking about a simulation, you know, this is pretty much the closest you're going to get as of now in a football game. You just, you simply are. Oof, it's unlucky. I don't think FIFA comes close to it, even with sliders. I just don't. I would like to see the turf be 3D here from cutscenes, though. It's a good effort. Too far away, looking for his second, I think, there. But yeah, remember, it is a demo, and uh, we want your feedback. If I do leave that link in the description, please do fill it out. Let me know your thoughts as well of... You know, if, you, if you've given it a shot on a, on a lower pass support, what do you make of it? There we have it. It finished 1-1. We did hit the post <laughs> numerous times from free kicks. And, yeah, Luis Suarez's effort was so, so close. But it just didn't happen in the end. So, uh, yeah, let's actually have a look real quick at a couple of chances. So this was the messy one. Nice move by him. Try to just sort of literally smash this near post. And to be fair, the goalie did well. One-handed save. Looks pretty good. Nice little animation for him there. Uh, Dembele had a header that just sort of went over the bar. Here was the goal. Credit to him. I'm seeing this move a lot, though, by the AI. The little quick feet by him. And then he just bends it in the far corner. To Stegen almost saw it late. And that's why he didn't dive as quickly as... Um, you know, you probably would have wanted him to. Because you can see, he's, he's blocked by numerous players. And by the time he's he's dived, the ball's already gone past him. Uh, PK had a header that was saved. Look at that. Brilliant stop. Bottom corner. And then literally a couple of seconds later, he gets set up by Messi. This time on the other side. And he just bullets this into the top corner. Fantastic header. Even the defender tried to keep it out, but no chance. A fantastic goal there. Uh, Arthur's attempt. This was where I wasted it. Had a chance. And I, I scuffed it. And this shows you that if you don't put it on the player's proper foot, he's going to struggle uh, to be able to, to properly finish. Here I brought the goalie out quickly. Did well. Nice uh, nice covering by Stegen there. But literally just slid in. Uh, we had a messy free kick. Rifled off the post. So, so unlucky. Another day that goes in, but unfortunately it came off the woodwork. And then this was the chance for Suarez. Rakitic got taken down. Maybe the goalie could have closed him down, but just tried to place it, didn't I? And it just didn't quite fall the way we wanted it to. So, so unlucky. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A bit of manual gameplay. Let me know your thoughts. If you want to see more, let me know as well. 11 attempts to 6. I mean, I did play Flamingo. Not one of the better teams in the demo. But still a bit of fun. Um, I, do, I would love to see the match ratings change, though. I think that's a big thing. Maybe we can mention that. But anyway, until next time, subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, I may put out another video we'll see today. You guys will have to wait. Until next time, take care.